Hello, everybody. It's Tim Yao here with your assembly for this week. And of course, it's all about Christmas. Now, I don't know what you find as the most exciting part of Christmas. Is it the food, the chocolates, the big fat turkey, the Christmas puddings, the mince pies, candy canes? Or is it the presents, you know, all the toys under the tree? Is it the stockings hung over the fireplace? What is it about Christmas that you really love? Maybe it's the decorations, the tinsel, the baubles, the Christmas tree, that wonderful smell of fresh pine as you bring that Christmas tree in. Or maybe you like to go out and look at the wonderful decorations and see all the exciting Christmas sparkle that's out there. Well, there's so many things around Christmas, all the different traditions, all the different uh, stuff that we put out there. And it's really, really exciting. But when we start to think about what's Christmas really all about, you have to dig around all those layers to find out what's the story about. So to help us understand the Christmas story, I've got a story for you. And it starts on a very dark, wintry Christmassy night. Oh, there you go. It gets dark round here pretty quick, doesn't it? Well, this story is about two people, a boy and a girl, and they're about your age. Now, the boy was looking out the window on Christmas Eve and he was looking out around Crinkleford and thinking, oh, it's really boring, isn't it? Oh, I've already opened my Christmas presents under the tree. I sneak to look. Oh, I know what mum and dad are going to get me. Oh, what would make it really exciting? Oh, and he looked out the window and he looked at the dark skies and the dark school and the dark green. And he thought, what would make it really cool as if it snowed? Snow upon snow upon snow. Then he looked into the sky and there arriving just in the blink of an eye appeared the Christmas star and he remembered something he'd heard at school. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight, I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. Oh Christmas star, said the boy, I want it to snow, please let it snow, that will make Christmas perfect. Now, unbeknownst to the boy, on the other side of the green was a girl. Oh, she looked out the window. Christmas star, Christmas star. Oh, how wonderful you are, she thought as she saw the Christmas star. Oh, I just love Christmas, said the girl. I love the sparkle. I love the songs. I love everything about it. So beautiful and magical and lovely. But you know what would make it so wonderful is if it would snow. It would be the perfect picture postcard Christmas. That would be wonderful. So she looked to the star and she said those words. Starlight, star bright, the first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. <gasps> Christmas star, I wish, I wish it would snow. Now, as all of you know, that Christmas time is a magical time. And when two people wish for the very same thing at the very same moment, magic does happen. So, of course, the boy and the girl looking from their different windows, looking out to the green, they looked and suddenly it began to snow. The boy, he saw the snow and he thought, yes, this is it. Christmas magic is true. So he quickly got his gloves on, his coat, his big boots, his woolly hat, and he headed out to the snow. He was making snowballs and foof, throwing a snowball there, and a foof, throwing a snowball there. He saw a cat kind of walking across the green. Meow, he got the cat. He, it was anything that was going by, he was throwing snowballs. He was having a really great time thinking, this is brilliant. And he's chucking snow here, there, and everywhere. On the other side of the green, the girl saw the snow and oh, it's so magical, it's so lovely, it's so wonderful. I'm going to go out and make snow angels and, and, and snow fairies. 
And so she got dressed up, she got a woolly hat and her mittens and coat. She went out and she was just watching the snowflakes falling down, catching them on her tongue. Oh, it sparkles, it's lovely. Then as they walked across the green, the boy and the girl, their eyes met. And the boy thought, oh no, it's a... He started to make a snowball and he was about to throw it. But the girl saw him, she went, oh, it's you! <laughs> How Christmassy! How romantic! <laughs> and so she pranced over to the boy and the boy was like, oh, can't believe it. So there in the middle of the snowy green, they stood together. And the boy went, oh, oh what the hell are you doing? Oh, said the girl. I oh, so wonderful. I wished for snow, said the girl. And the boy said, yeah, I wish for snow too. Oh, how Christmassy, <laughs> said the girl. Then they both looked, they heard a squeaky noise. Squeak, 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 squeak. They looked. It was a Christmas squirrel. <laughs> a little Christmas squirrel prancing around, picking up, digging away. Oh, thought the girl. Oh, so beautiful, so Christmassy, a little Christmas squirrel on Christmas Eve, digging for his Christmas dinner, lovely. Whereas the boy was like, yeah, and he was about to throw the snowball when he heard this noise. Beep, beep, beep. And there was a yellow light flashing. Beep, beep, beep. And they looked, and there coming down the road was one of these snow gobblers. It comes along, you know, it picks up the snow and it shoots it to the side. It clears the roads and it's gritting. And these big, like, rotating drum at the front with all these, these sharp looking teeth. And it was sucking in the snow and getting, throwing it out of the way. Oh, said the girl. Oh, the snow. It's getting rid of the snow. The boy said, well, more than that. Look at that squirrel just there. That machine is heading straight for the squirrel. Well, that was awful. And the girl said, Oh, you must do something quick, quick, do something, do something for goodness sake. It's Christmas Eve, it's the Christmas squirrel. So the boy said, right, okay, yeah, I'll do it, yeah. Uh, Oi, said the boy. Oi, Christmas squirrel, get out of here, you, squirrel, go, move it, go. But the squirrel just didn't understand them. The boy tried harder. Squirrel, the machine, the big rolling drum of death, the teeth, it's coming for you. Get out of the way, squirrel. Go, go, go. But of course, the squirrel couldn't understand them. He couldn't speak human. They couldn't speak squirrel. And the squirrel just sat there. The girl did the only thing she could possibly do. She screamed. Ah! That didn't work either. So the boy and the girl just watched in that beautiful snowy scene as this cute little squirrel just stood there and the big beep beep machine was heading straight for the squirrel. The boy suddenly had an idea. You know what? We wish for the same thing at the same time. What if we both wished that we could talk to the squirrel? What a brilliant idea, said the girl. So they said together, starlight, star bright, First star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. Have the wish I wish tonight. I wish we could speak. Squirrel! And at that point, it seemed like the houses and the trees started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They thought, this is, this is not what we wanted. This is not right. But then they looked to themselves and their, their mittens and their gloves were turning into little fairy paws. It wasn't the buildings and the trees that were getting bigger. They were getting smaller and smaller and smaller. They were turning into squirrels. They looked and this time the girl ran out and went squeak, 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 squeak. Well, that's what it would have sounded to you and me. But what she was saying to the squirrel was like, there's a machine coming and the big rolling drums and it's got teeth and you're going to get squished. But the squirrel sat in the road and was like, nah, mate. Nah, don't believe you. It's Christmas Eve. That thing don't happen. Nah. Come quick, look. I can hear it. It's coming. The beep, beep. It's going to get you. Then that got closer and closer. The big machine. 
the boy squirrel could do the only thing he could possibly do in that moment of madness, in that moment of wanting to do something. He got and he stood and he leapt in front of the big machine. Of course, the machine didn't stop. And he got sucked inside. And there was beep, beep, crunch, crank, crack, the machine broke down and the boy was gone. The girl squirrel. Oh no! Oh the sadness! Oh the terror! Oh the pain! It was supposed to be Christmas! And I didn't even get my Christmas kiss! Meanwhile, the actual squirrel, he saw what had happened. He was like, whoa, thanks so much. And he legged it and he was safe. The girl, girl squirrel, she pitter patted over to where she thought the boy was there. But of course, it's Christmas and it's magical. And a story can't end like that, can it? No. And there on the side was the boy squirrel. He was absolutely safe. And there under the Christmas star, there, the magical thing happened. And starlight, star bright, the first star we see tonight. We wish we may, we wish we might have the wish we wish tonight. And of course, everything was back to normal. And the girl, she got her Christmas kiss, all right. <laughs> well, that's the end of our Christmas story today. And that is what Christmas is all about. 2,000 years ago, a baby was born in Bethlehem. His name was Jesus. He was a normal boy like everybody else. He cried. He had to have his nappies changed. He had to be looked after by his parents. But the important thing about that baby is that it was God's son. And so God came and was born on earth so that he could walk and talk and communicate and listen to and be with and know what it was like to be one of us. Just like in that Christmas story, the boy and the girl had to become squirrels so they could communicate and talk with and understand the squirrels that was in the, in the road and was, you know, in danger. 2000 years ago, Jesus lived his life so he could be with us, talk to human beings, learn and teach and show us a different way and at easter time we remember that actually jesus died but it wasn't the end just like the boy in the story he got sucked into that machine but he was fine you know and easter time remember that jesus died but that wasn't the end of the story jesus rose from the dead and lived and lives still today so christians around the world when they celebrate christmas they celebrated with Easter in mind, how God came to be with us, to walk with us, to talk with us, so we could understand and so know, so he could know what it's like to be us. And that is the real meaning of Christmas. God born as one of us to be with us, to come and rescue us. Well, I hope you have a great Christmas time. Have a great break. Enjoy the presents and the tree and the turkey and everything that goes with it. But remember, God is with us at Christmas time. So I'm going to finish with a prayer. And if you want to say amen a little bit, join in with me. You might want to close your eyes and put your hands together to stop you from fidgeting. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you for Christmas. We thank you for the joy and the giving and the celebration. But most of all, we thank you that 2000 years ago, your baby was born. God's son who came to show us how to live, who could understand and show us the way to rescue us from this life. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas, everybody. And I'll see you in the new year. Bye.